Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hey, everybody, how's everything? How was your day, people? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Yes, day. <laughs> really? It was tiring. I can't tell. Just give me one second. Someone is requiring assistance. Okay, you got it there. Okay, so good evening, everybody. Uh, you know, this is gonna be the, like the second class we're gonna join. Uh, so welcome, you know, like back. It's good to see you in, in here again. Uh, we are going to, uh, you know, like start from where we stayed last class. We're gonna start with a very short feedback uh, from uh, what we were doing last class. And besides that feedback, we're gonna, you know, like uh, start checking the exercises that we were missing from the previous class. So that's pretty much what we are going to be doing, you know, like the first, couple of minutes of the class, and then we are going to start with the topic, uh, you know, like that we have uh, for tonight. But before doing all that, I'm gonna pass the attendance list. So just give me one second. This is a little bit slow to load up. Oh yeah, but I got your your names in here. Okay, let's start. Uh, Edson Mariano. Presente. Okay, you're there. Let me see. Edson, uh, could you please uh, uh, change your name, please, in, in, in your Zoom? Uh, because uh, you appear like Samsung SM P6 and something like that. And it's not your name. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. 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 All right. Just give me one second. What is this? All right. So let's continue. Uh, let me see. Gabriel Esau. Gabriel Esaú. All right, it's not here. Okay, let's continue. Jocelyn Yajaira. Jocelyn Yajaira. All right, she's not here yet. Judith Maribel. Present. Ah, okay, good. Let's move. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Perfect. Carla Lorena. Present. Ah, okay, perfect. Uh, Catherine Guadalupe. Mm, Catherine. All right, she's not here yet. Maria Elena. Let's see, Maria Elena, are you there? Mm, okay, so we're gonna wait for them. Uh, Marilyn Alejandra. I thought it was here, Marilyn, Marilyn. All right, she's not here. Mario Ernesto. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Let's move. Marvin Alexander. Present, teacher. Okay, perfect. 
Monica uh, Marisela. Present. Ah, okay, good. Uh, Nelson Fabricio. Nelson Fabricio. Okay, he comes a little bit late sometimes. Norma Beatriz. Okay, she's not here yet. Uh, Patricia Guadalupe. Patricia Guadalupe. Okay, she's not here yet. Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Ruth Guadalupe. Okay, what happened? Ruth? No me agarraba el micrófono, perdón. <laughs> okay, there are no problem. Uh, let's see, uh, Santos Cristina. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Okay, good. Uh, William Alexander. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, Jocelyn Stephanie. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Juan Ricardo. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Uh, it is Cecilia. All right, she's not connected yet. And we got the last one. Let me see. One, two, one. Let me see. Ana Silvia. Present, teacher. Okay, perfect. We got Francisco Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, good. Present, present. Okay, thank you, mister. What is this thing? Give me one second. And Abigail Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Let me see. Okay, perfect. Uh, Francisco and Abigail, you were not here yesterday, right? No, ayer no. Yes. Surgió un problema. Lo que yes. pasa es que no nos habían incluido en el grupo. Entonces, uh -huh. ayer me avisaron que ya habían empezado. Y yo ahora le dije a mi empresa que llamaran porque a mí me avisaron que ayer empezaron y que no estábamos en el grupo. Ah, y por eso es que nos incluyeron. Ah, sí, sí, porque no me aparecían tampoco en la lista de asistencia ayer. No, lo que pasa es que nosotros los dos somos de la alcaldía de Sonsonate y este, mm. nuestra información estaba como ahí perdida. <risa> <risa> ok. All right, but, but it's good. And now, uh, ahora sí, ya, 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 todo esto está solucionado y ya están acá. All right. Así that's es. Cool. Okay, that's perfect. Pero, uh, ¿ya ¿Ah? les habían mandado usted, a ustedes los enlaces y todo? En la mañana okay. me, me los mandaron a mí, creo yo, sí. también al compañero. No sé. Mm, okay, cool. Significa que ya están unidos en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿cierto? Así es, sí. Y también en la plataforma, uh, por lo menos yo ya. Okay, perfect. I will escuchar this. Okay, so welcome, uh, you know, here. All right, so we're gonna start uh, with, uh, you know, a short feedback we're gonna have from the class from yesterday, and then we are going to start, you know, like from uh, the topic that we have for tonight. Do you guys remember what were we discussing last class? What was the topic? What were we discussing, and everything? Do you, do you remember? What was the topic from yesterday? I want a volunteer or some volunteers. El uso de los infinitivos. Ah, okay, infinitives. Thank you, Monica. Uh, all right, and uh, what is an infinitive? Uh, how can I form an infinitive? Uh, sorry, Mary, could you repeat what you said? Uh, verbo en su forma simple. Ah, 
Ah, ok. ¿Y qué más tiene que llevar el verbo en forma simple? Preposición to. Preposición to. Ok, very good. The preposition to, right? To become infinitive. So it means you got the verb it, for example, right? That's a normal verb in base form. But if you say to eat, all right, with the preposition added before the verb, that becomes into a, I mean, into an infinitive, right? Okay, very good. If you remember yesterday, uh, we were checking some uh, sentences and we were missing a conversation that we didn't practice related to infinitives, okay? What are we going to do, you know, like to start this class? As a model of feedback, we're gonna practice that short conversation and we're gonna check, you know, like the, uh, the sentences that you were looking for the mistake, all right? Uh, yes, or then. just give me one second. I'm gonna project the module, I mean the manual, and then we are going to continue with the main class for right now. Okay, so this was the conversation, right? So yesterday you just practiced by yourself, but I didn't listen to you guys. So I need to listen to all of you today, right? As a model of feedback. And then we're gonna be checking the rest of the exercises that we did. Remember that yesterday we just checked one exercise, right? But the rest, we, we, we didn't do it because of the time. We didn't have time. But tonight, yeah, I mean, we have enough time to do it. Okay. Uh, porque veo que no están todos conectados. Let me see. No, no están todos. Lo vamos a hacer de una manera muy diferente. Ayer, pues, lo estuvieron practicando con un compañero. Ahora lo vamos a hacer así de corrido. ¿Cómo así? Voy a seleccionar el primero de mi lista en orden hacia abajo, okay? So, two plus two, that way, we're gonna be practicing. In this case, I got the first one on my list, it's gonna be Roberto, all right? And uh, Mario, could you both guys help me out practicing the conversation? In this case, Roberto can be uh, Diana, and Mario will take the role of Celia. Okay. Right. Could you help me out practice, please? Celia, está lista. Okay. Okay, comienzo. Go on. Okay. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. You should, you should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home for check in, to check in, to check out. Right. Our mission describes why our oh. business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred fish hotel by families by 20. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you, Roberto and Mario. Now, I want uh, Ruth and Cristina. Do the same, ladies. Let's go. Okay. Uh, did you hear about the visit? of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read it. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home, at home from check in to check out. Check out. Check out, got it. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And, oh, and, and our mission is to become the most perfect 
hotel the family B2020 by family B2020. Bye, bye, buff. Bye, bye. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to be to get in the future. Ah, okay, good. Thank you, Ruth. And Christina, now I want the participation of Silvia and uh, Fabricio. Okay. Did you... Yes. Yes. Let's go. Okay. Did you hear about the busy of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer question about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our West feel at home from checking yes. to checkout. Right. Our mission describe um, why our business exit. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tell where our business want to get in the picture. Picture. Future. All right, in the future. All right, thank you, Silvia and Fabricio. Now let's move on, uh, Monica and Patricia. Yes, let's go. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? Uh, Patricia. Ah, uh, no sé si, si, si solo soy yo, pero no, no la escuchamos. Bueno, no la escucho. Nope. Hola. Poquito. Oh, ok. Eh, ¿Así? ¿Se escucha mejor? Ahora sí. Ok, perfecto. Eh, I did we should be ready to answer question about the mission and vision of the company. Let's read them. Ok. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preference beach hotel my family by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business want to get in the future. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, uh, Monica and Patricia. Now I want the participation of Iris and uh, Juan Ricardo. Empiece Patricia. <laughs> yeah, right. she's, she's going to start. Hi, Patricia. Hi. Hola. Patricia Diana. Ah, no, man. Patricia has already no. participated. <laughs> ah, no, ya. <yeah. laughs> It's going be Iris. <laughs> Iris, perdón. Hello. Yeah, man. Hi, Iris. Hola. All right. Hi, Iris. Si gusta, start. comience, compañero. Ah, ok, amor. Sí, sí. Did you hear a badge I wish you in thy mañana today? I did. We should be ready to answer a question about the mission and the vision of the company. Liz, real, then. Let's write them. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right, the yeah, mission this cruise. Uh, we have finished exits. 
and our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. Try right a uh, vision, a uh, try well. Uh, okay, okay. All right, Let, let's say, Good. tells, tells, her, her, where, where, uh -huh. our our business. Bis okay, listen, business, business, uh huh. Once, once I put to. Okay, once to get, repeat, once to get. What to get? In the future. Uh, in the future. Okay, very good. Thank you, Juan, and it is very good. Uh, let me see who's gonna be next. Mm, Carla Ivania. We'll let you to help me out with Francisco. Francisco was not was not here yesterday, but I'm pretty sure he will do it good. Okay, let's go. Okay. Hi, Francisco. Do you hear about the visit of the man today? Francisco, are you there? Ah, sí, sí, porque ahorita está frisado. All right, no problem. We're gonna, we're gonna see if, if he comes back. Francisco, can you listen to us? Hello. Okay, I, I think he has serious problems with the internet. So, vamos a ver si más adelante se restablece. Yes, teacher. No. Yes, teacher. Teacher. Ajá. Eh, tengo problemas con, con el Inter. Por ratos me saca de la plataforma y por ratos no los, no los escucho muy bien. Oh, ok. Pero ahorita nos está escuchando bien. Mm, nah, he got serious problems with that. So we're going to move Pero on with that case. Ah, ok. All right. Ya vamos a ver si, si se logra restablecer para que pueda participar, ok? Because, yeah, I mean, in that way, it will be kind of impossible for you. Uh, Marilyn, are you there? Yes. Ok, Marilyn. Help me out practicing with Carla, please. Ok. No sé quién va a empezar, si ella o yo. Uh, she's going to start again. <laughs> Sorry, Carla. <laughs> Let's just start over again, please. Okay. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer a question about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read then. Okay. Our mission is to make our guest feel at yes. home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mi mission describes describe why our business is it. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision there's where our business want to get in the future. Ah, okay, perfect. Thank you, Carla and Marilyn. Now, uh, Jocelyn, I want you to help me out with Marvin. Okay. Uh, comienzo yo. Okay, let's go. Okay. 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 Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should all be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's retain. Okay. Our mission is to make our quest feel at home from check in to check out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred 
Beach Hotel by Family by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business <laughs> wants to get in the future. I got my question. Sorry. No problem. I'm asking now, man. Yeah, man. No problem. No. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Yoseli. That's the attitude. Okay. Good. Thank you, uh, and uh, thank you, Marvin. All right. Let's move. Let me see who's missing. Uh, Carla Mendoza, did you participate already? Not right. Oh, Sarah, let me, give me one second. <coughs> Había una Carla que me dijo que estaba en reunión, pero creo que no era Ivania. <coughs> ah, yeah, I mean, you're in a meeting. Yeah, I mean, sorry. I know you cannot participate right now. All right, Edson, are you there, Edson? Yes. Okay, perfect. I would like you to help me out with uh, William. William, are you there? Yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Could you, could you guys help me out practicing? <laughs> okay. Uh, did you hear about the visit of the man managers today? I believe we sh should be ready to answer question about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's write then. Okay, our mission on the May, May our quest fill and the house from the check-in to check out. Right. Our, our mission described with our business exit. <clears throat> and our vision and to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 20, 2020. <laughs> That's right. Our mission tells where our business wants to get in the future. Ah, okay, very good. Okay, thank you, Edson and William. And let me see who's gonna be next. Uh, Maria Elena, are you there? Maria Elena? Mm, I think she's not there. Uh, Catherine, are you there? Yes. Okay. Good evening. Good. All right. Good evening. Uh, Elizabeth, are you there, Elizabeth? Sí. Sí, aquí. Okay, cool. Help me out practicing with Catherine, please. Okay. Okay. Sí, empiezo. Let's go. <laughs> mm. Sí, you empiezo usted. Okay. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer question about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check in to check out. All right, our mission describe why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by family by 2020. All right. That's right. Our vision there where our business want to get in the future. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine and Elizabeth. Almost everybody got participations in here in this, uh, at least in this conversation. Then uh, I think a little bit below this one, we have an extra conversation, but related to, to the topic that we're going to be discussing in a moment, in a few seconds. Uh, yesterday, we were just practicing these things. And right after that, if you remember, you were matching this 
visions, I think it was, or missions, now mission statements with the companies that you got in the right, right? So we will check if you were right about the missions, okay, and the matchings that you did. I'm gonna start with Monica. Monica, could you please read uh, the vision letter A, please? I mean, the mission letter A, read it, please. To be the most customer-centric company in the world, where people can think and discover a need in day want to buy online. Okay. All right. Where people can find, all right, and discover anything they want to buy online. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Thank you for having me on reading. It is? Uh, is Amazon. Okay, good. That's, a That's the matching, right? That's the mission basically from Amazon. I don't know if you got it correct. No sé si todas tienen lo mismo. Yeah, I mean, I guess everybody got the same, right? Perfect. Thank you. All right, good. Uh, let's see. It's going to be the next one. Carla Ivania, help me out reading the mission letter B. Okay. Uh, to be the global energy company most admired, Admi admired. admired for uh -huh. its partnership or partnership. Partnership. Partnership and performance. Okay, good. Let me see. What is that company, people? What is that company mission? Chevron. 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 Everybody got Chevron? Okay, Chevron. very good. Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, Judith, help me out reading the next one, please. To bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete? Uh, athlete in the world. Okay, what is that company mission? It's Nike. Nike. It's Nike. Okay, algunos dicen Nike, otros Nike. All right. Nike es lo que comúnmente nosotros conocemos, right? But in English, it's going to be Nike. All right? That's, that's, that's in English. Okay, and that's the company. Very good. So we're going to read the last one. Uh, let me see. Francisco, are you okay now with, uh, with your internet? Francisco. Very <laughs> teacher. Ah, yeah, man. Now you, I think you're kind of okay with the internet. I see you're moving more. So it means you, you, you establish a little bit, all right, the, the internet thing. Could you please help me out reading the letter B mission, please? That's one. Okay. Inspire. Human style. One person, one cup. Uh -huh. One person, one cup. In one neighborhood at a time. All right. In one neighborhood at a time. Okay. Good. Uh huh. Me dijo la. May, I uh, uh, neighborhood. This one is neighborhood. By the way, okay. by the way, you know what is a neighborhood? Seven people can significa neighborhood. Vecindario. Okay, very good. One neighborhood at a time. Okay, there you go. That's the mission statement of. The last company that is missing, right? Starbucks. That's what it is. Okay, very good. So that was part of what we were doing yesterday then. Uh, now let's move into the next page. And we're gonna check the last exercise that we were doing, which was this one, right? Because as far as you remember, uh, the mission and vision and statement that you did about a company that you create with your classmates yesterday, we, we read that already. So, this one was missing, okay? 
So we're gonna check if you were correct or if you're, you know, if you really need to, to change something from this thing. Uh, Catherine Lopez, could you please help me out reading one? Okay. Our vision is to become the number one provider mm -hmm. of office supplies in San Miguel. Ah, okay, very good. In here, the mistake was that it was not included the preposition to, right? So it was included in there. That was the mistake. Good. Uh, Mario, help me on reading number two, please. Our mission is to provide healthy, healthy and economic meals to construction workers wherever they are. All right. This, this, this word is pronounced tasty. Okay. Tasty. All right. Very good. The, did, you, did you and your classmate find any mistake in that sentence, Mario? ¿Encontraron no. algún error? No, en esa no. Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean, this one is correct. In here, you don't find any mistake, okay? Because it's well written. If you see en in la, here. En la, en la two, uh -huh. en la three, en la five, hay problema. No está el verbo. En la número dos, why number two? Be, be. Eh, eh, en, en realidad, en algunas no es realmente necesario el verbo to be. Ok, por ejemplo, look one. En la número dos, ok, en here, dice our mission, nuestra misión is. Aquí tiene el verbo to be, mire. Ajá, la presión. Ok, good. Y después del verbo to be, tiene el, mire, el verbo en infinitivo, el siguiente verbo. You see? So it means it is correct, okay? It is well written in that case. Okay, let's move into number three. Um, let me see, okay. Patricia, help me on reading number three. Patricia, you got your microphone. Sí, voy a ir con vos, tranquila. <laughs> no voy a poder estar en la mesa del domingo. Teacher, lo siento. Okay. We aim to be the number one cleaning service provider for final institutions. <laughs> okay, financial institution. All right, thank you, Patricia. Okay. Okay. Did you guys find any mistake in that sentence? ¿Encontraron algún error en esa oración? No. ¿Alguien que haya encontrado algún error? Yes. Yes. Uh, where? In the word to be because no, no is we am. Is we are to be. We are to be. Yeah. Mm. Look, en, en otro contexto eh, eh, estaría correcto esa, esa posición, Marilyn. Le voy a explicar por okay. qué esta, esta está bien. Uh -huh. Miren, listen. Okay. En este caso, el verbo to be no puede ir en una de sus derivaciones como am, is, o are, sencillamente porque tiene que ir. Ese verbo tiene que ir en infinitivo. Él es el que tiene que ir en infinitivo en este caso. Entonces, por lo okay. tanto, tiene que ir en su forma original. Y su forma original es, en este caso, be. All right? Be. Why? Because in be. here, porque en este caso, aim es el verbo. Aim sería el primer verbo. ¿Ok? ¿Y qué significa ya, ya aim? Ya todo. ¿no? Oje objetivo. Ok. ¿Y por qué like, sería aim? En este caso es, va, mire, en este caso es una frase compuesta. We aim to be. Es acá, acá es okay. como. Nuestro objetivo es ser o apuntamos a ser. Right? Aim es ah, como okay. apuntar, okay. ok, hacia futuro. En este caso es como, ah, me pretendemos ser o apuntamos ser. Entonces, por eso es que el verbo to be va actuando ahí como un infinitivo y el verbo. Primero, en este caso es aim. 
apuntar. Sí, sí, sí. Todo depende del contexto de la oración en ese, en ese caso sería, ¿verdad? Exactly, exactly. Si no okay. tuviésemos aim, entonces sí, nos obligaríamos a no poner el verbo como to be, sino como una okay. forma ya como are, for example, right? Okay, yes. yeah, okay, thank you. All right, good. Uh, Juan, you were raising the hand. Eh, cuando ahí dice va que la empresa tiene quiere ser la número uno en en servicio de de limpieza. Ajá. Ajá. Es como una proveedora de servicios de limpieza. Right. Ah, correcto. Cosas. Exactly. Right. It says for financial institutions, for para instituciones financieras más que todo. Dice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. All right, so this one number three is correct also, all right? This one is still correct. Good. Good. What about number four? Uh, let me see. Ruth, I'm not reading number four. We exit to the telecommunication solution for business in rural areas. Okay, for businesses in rural areas. All right. Did you guys find any mistake in that case? ¿Encontraron algún error en eso? No lleva el verbo to be. Después del to. Mm -hmm. Esta debería de ir el ING. ING. No lleva. Mm, ¿Debería ir el ING o no debería ir el ING? No, no debería. No, no. Ok, good. Recuerden que en este caso, en este tipo de, 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 de estructura, in here, as you said, people, this one should not take the ING. Solo sería bring, bring. right? Like this. Okay, good. We exist to bring, not to bring in, because it doesn't make sense to have the preposition to, at least in this one, and then a verb in ING. Okay, very good. So you got that, yeah. you got, you have found one mistake in here, right? Good, that's the sí. mistake. Uh, perdón, business uh -huh. está bien. Hola? Business, business, businesses. This one is plural. Sí, ahí porque ya la palabra está en plural. Business with double S at the end. Hasta acá, mire, es en singular. Hasta acá. Business, business negocio. Hasta acá. Hasta acá, donde está marcado el singular, business. Businesses, that's plural. Ok. Es plural. Yeah, I mean, that's plural. Remember, algo que quiero que recuerden es, todo nombre o verbo que termine en doble S, bueno, en el caso de los nombres que terminen en doble S, para hacerlo plural, se le agrega ES. All right? Y el verbo en tercera persona que termine en doble S, en terceras personas se le agrega igual ES. ¿Ok? En el, vamos a poner un contexto. No me quiero saber mucho de, de, de lo del tema para no, 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 no. Ok. Eh, pero mire, sería así, más, más o menos así. Ya aplicando un verbo con doble S. Por ejemplo, uh, vamos a poner a alguien de acá. Mónica, es la primera que veo en la... <ríe> En, en la pantallita. Mónica. Uh, va, miren. Este verbo es con doble S. Miss. ¿Qué significa Miss? Extrañar. Extrañar. All right. Extrañar. ¿Extraña algo, Mónica? No. Oh, my God. Ok. For example, uh, we can say, Mónica misses her previous job, for example, right? Look, Monica misses her previous job. Si ven acá, he incluido ES en tercera persona. All right? Monica misses her previous job. Este, es, bueno, al menos esta parte, creo que la vieron eh, en el módulo anterior, en el uso del simple present, right? Especially, all right? En esa, en esa parte eh, han de haber visto las spelling rules, ok, with this type of, with this type of uh, verbs. <coughs> ok, 
No, okay, good. Until here, we're okay. Now, let's move into the next one, number five. Mauricio, could you please help me out reading number five? Number five. Hello? Uh, yes, yes, number five. Number five, okay. We envision the leaders in the distribution of energy drinks in the regional market. Okay, there you go. So we envision be leaders in the distribution of energy drinks in the regional market. Did you find any mistake in that case? Encontraron mm, algún error uh, en eso? This is show be to be. To be. Exactly, right. Ahí falta la preposición to antes de be. We envision to be, right? Very good. That was the missing uh, word in that case and the mistake. Okay, let's move into number six. That's going to be the last one. Uh, let me see. Marvin. My company. My, my company's vision is to become the most preferred hair salon for adolescents. Okay, for uh, adolescents. Okay, good. Any mistake in that case? Algún error? No teacher. Y en G otra vez. I N G again. Yes. Look. Hasta acá vamos bien. Miren. My companies. Oh, give me one second. I will check this out. In here, my company's vision is to. Until here is everything is okay. But if you see in here, I got to. El verbo, este verbo debería de estar. Sin el en, I N G. Exactly. En forma okay. base. ¿Y cómo es la forma base de este verbo? Come. Become. 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 All right. Like this. Become, right? That's the base form. Como el verbo debería de ir. Okay. Very good. So that was, that was you know, like what we were missing yesterday. All right. That we didn't finish because of the time. Now, I'm going to stop in here for a moment. And I'm gonna go back because I need to show you, you know, a little bit of uh, an introduction to put it like that uh, from the topic that we're gonna be discussing from now on. Just give me one second. I'm gonna prepare this thing. I am, this is the one. Okay, now tonight's topic is gonna be this one. Okay, this is this is going to be the, the topic that we're going to be discussing for the rest of the class. Look, how to use ING forms after prepositions. Okay, bueno, ayer estuvimos viendo entonces cómo formar infinitivos. Ahora vamos a ver cómo funciona un gerundio, okay, o un ING form, all right, as you want to call it. Después de ciertas preposiciones. Okay? Just to put it that way. Let's remember that we are just looking at, at a general way of these topics. Probably in a future, we will be discussing this in a very deeper way. Okay. Let's start. Okay. Something that you got to remember. Algo que quiero que siempre recuerden es. Un verbo. En ING no necesariamente es un verbo que está dando una acción al instante. Ok, I want you to understand that. Ok, quiero que comprendan esa parte. Que si yo digo, I like eating pizza, no es lo mismo como si yo dijera, I am eating pizza. Ok, uno es progresivo, acción en el instante. El otro es un simple present, usando nada más un verbo en gerundio. Pero vamos a ver un poco para, para tratar de comprender esa parte. Bueno, see that then. Okay, what's the most relevant for the rest of the class? Uh, we were doing a review from the previous class. It's something that we had just finished. Now we're going to be, uh, you know, like using and discussing the uses of ing verbs after prepositions. 
Then we're gonna have a short conversation practice. After that, we're gonna be working in the manual in some activities that are you know related to 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 the topic. And that's basically pretty much what we got, to, okay? Because later on, you're gonna complete the exercises probably in pairs like yesterday. So that's like the most relevant for the class. Now, let's move into what it really matters. Okay, it says ing after prepositions. Hmm. Let's read a little bit about this thing. All right. Algún voluntario que me ayude a leer, por favor? Hi, teacher. All right, let's go. Thank you. ING after preposition. Use a verb plus ING after preposition like for or of in expression as be responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for, con committed to, delegator to. Okay, there you go. Very good. Thank you. So in this case, these are expressions that we generally use, all right? And when we use this type of expressions, the next verb, if you put a verb, that verb has to go with ing. That's what it really says in this thing. For example, look at this. <clears throat> Check out at this example. Roberto, help me out reading, please. Roberto, you got your, your microphone off. Sorry. Uh, I am responsible for sending emails to my clients. Ah, okay, very good. I am responsible for sending emails to my clients. Check this out. Literally, be responsible for means ser responsable de. Okay, that's what it means. That's an expression. Esa es una expresión, toda esa parte. Be responsible for. Recuerden que eh, el hecho de que sea be responsible for, ya en contexto, dependiendo del sujeto que tengamos al principio, así va a ser la forma del verbo to be que va a optar. It can be am, is, or are. Okay, remember that. So that's why we got it here. I am responsible for. Acá, ¿cuál es la preposición? In this case, the preposition that we're talking about, it's for, okay? And after for, you got the verb, you had the obligation to put the verb in ing, okay? This verb in ing is not in progressive. Remember, this verb is not in progressive, okay? If you say, I am responsible for sending emails to my clients, literally in Spanish, this one is in simple present, okay? For example, soy responsable de, acá no vayan a pensar que es enviando, sino enviar, okay? Soy responsable de enviar emails a mis clientes. That's what it is, okay? Vuelvo y repito, no es una acción que sucede en el instante, no es un presente continuo o progresivo, como ustedes lo conozcan, ¿ok? Simple y sencillamente, recuerden, después de uh, ciertas preposiciones, all right, si vamos a colocar un verbo, ese verbo está en la obligación de convertirse en gerundio, ¿ok? O en otras palabras, en ing, ¿ok? That's what it is. Okay, that's just one example. Are you are you guys responsible for doing something in your company or in your house? For example, let's take a look at this. ¿De qué son responsables en su casa ustedes? Could you guys give me one example you seem to be responsible for? What are you responsible for in your house? For example, in my case... First thing. Huh? For chasing the okay. Tell, tell me, tell me the whole sentence. I 
am responsible for purchasing and purchasing what? <laughs> Alimentos. Uh, you can say groceries for the house. You know what is groceries? You can put this word. Okay. Look. Puede ponerlo de esta manera. I am responsible for chasing groceries. Groceries. For the house. Antes que vayan a preguntar gro groceries, no son groserías, ¿ok? All right. Solo por si se nos había cruzado esa, esa, ese, ese pensamiento ahí. Now, groceries es como cosas para la casa. Cuando usted va al supermarket, uh, to the supermarket, when you go to the supermarket, you create a checklist about things that you, you buy. So, esas son groceries, all right? Son compras, o sea, los, lo, lo que necesitamos para la casa in general, right? You're talking about food and everything. That's groceries. Okay, this is your example. Okay, very good. Somebody else to tell me? And an extra example? All right, Marvin? Okay. And uh, I am responsible for buying the internet in my house. Okay, I am responsible for paying the internet in my house. Good. Good. Somebody else? Alguien más? I am responsible for washing my clothes. Ah, okay, for washing my clothes. Okay. Creí, creí, Monica, que me iba a decir, I am responsible for watching TV. <laughs> 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 All right, but yours was good, was good. All right, thank you, Monica. Uh, Ruth, you were about to say something. I am responsible for the food budget. Repeat again, Ruth. I am responsible for the food budget. Uh, but we need we need one verb, Ruth. After four, you need one verb in ing. Uh, comida. Eh, yo soy responsable del presupuesto de la comida. Eh, va. Técnicamente está correcta. Solo que para esta estructura, después del four, necesitamos un verbo en ing. Por ejemplo, podría usted decir, I am responsible for, what? Providing the food budget. All right, providing the food budget. All right, soy responsable de proveer el presupuesto de la comida. Like that, you see? Y ahí incluimos un verbo, por así decirlo. Creo que sería de manejarlo. Porque no soy de proveerlo. Ah, ok. So, entonces, en ese caso de... Ok, administrating, entonces. Ok. Sí, pero la idea es que después de the four tengamos un verbo en ING, ok? Ok, thank you. Ok, good. Thank you, Ruth. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más? If you got one example. Ajá, teacher, ajá. perdón, perdón, perdón. Ajá, ajá, let's go, let's go. I am, I am responsible for watching what is near missing uh, at home. Okay, all right, good. Thank you, Christina. Somebody else? I am responsible for taking care of the children. Ah, okay, I am responsible for taking care of the children. Good, good. Jesus, man, that's that's a hard work, Mario. <laughs> Taking care of a children. I mean, of children. Jesus. Okay, good. Somebody else? Vamos a ver. Como están de tímidos, yo voy a preguntar. Fabricio, give me your example, Fabricio. Um, I am responsible for repairing Xerox color equipment. 
Okay, very good. Good. It is. No. Could you give me your example, please? Yes. I'm responsible for cooking for my brothers. I am responsible for? Cooking for my brothers. Ah, okay, for cooking my brothers. All right, good, good. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Silvia. I am responsible for cleaning uh, for the house. Okay, cleaning the house. Okay. okay. In the house. All right. Good. Thank you. Uh, Ivania. Okay. Uh, I am responsible for paying the bill. Ah, uh, for paying the bills. Okay. Very good. Francisco. I am responsible to maintain my house. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> there you go, Jocelyn. Okay. I am responsible for cooking in my house. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Catherine? I am responsible for paying the energy. The energy bill? Uh, oh, electricity bill? Okay. Alex, yes. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, Marilyn. Okay. I'm responsible to buy on food twice a month. I'm responsible for paying. For buying. Ah, buying for buying food, food twice a month. Ah. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you. Edson? Yes, I am responsible for driving car. For driving a car. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Good. Uh, let me see somebody else. Uh, William? I am responsible for being the house. Ah, okay, good. Maria Elena. Maria Elena, are you there? Okay, so she's just not there, I guess. Uh, uh, Elizabeth? Elizabeth, are you there? Sí, sí, aquí estoy. Ah, ah, okay. There you go. Okay, could you give me your example, Elizabeth? I clean the house of the weekend. Repeat again. I am responsible for claims the house the weekend. Ah, okay, okay, good, good. Thank you. Okay, uh, alguien que se me ha quedado. Let me see. Juan, yeah, man, Juan has not participated. Uh, Dígame. Yeah, could you give me your example one? Oh you want to be the last one? Responsibly in working. In, in high illustrious. Okay, I mean, it, just with that, it's okay. I mean, I, I am responsible for working <laughs> and providing things for the house, right? Good. Hey, man, you got a happy family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Tienen una familia bien feliz, man. Ya, a mí me dijo por 
Solo riendo se pasa. Ay, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, good. So that's just related to be responsible for, okay? Now, let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. Let's take a look at the second example that we got in here. Um, Marvin. Marvin, help me out reading, please. Yes. Uh, okay. She, she, is, she is in charge of training the new employees. Ah, okay. Very good. She is in charge of training the new employees. Okay. Take a look at that. Ahora ya la preposición cambia. Ya no es for you know, of, right? She's in charge of training the new employees. Good. What is be in charge of? ¿Qué quiere decir esa expresión? Be in charge of. Es, es como a cargo de. Exactly, right? Estar a cargo de. That's what it means, okay? Be in charge of, estar a cargo de. All right, so in that case, it's like, ah, mi niña está a cargo de entrenar a los nuevos, o capacitar en este caso, los nuevos empleados, right? That's the way how it is. Uh, are, are you saying something? Are you saying something, Iris? Yes. Um, in the case of committed to be dedicated to, uh, accountable for or committed to? Committed to and dedicated to. It's pretty similar. Dedicated to, I mean, estar dedicado o ser dedicado a. Right? And committed to is just to get the, the duty of doing something too. Right? That's what it is. A eso vamos a llegar en un par de eh, ejemplos. Okay, más. Just, just, just for you to get to know, right? <laughs> Okay, good. Let's go into this. Look at this. Look at this. By the way, Iris, help me on reading. That's one. Iris? Hola, hola, perdón. Um, he's a contable for hiring new employees. Ah, okay. New employees, all right. He is accountable for hiring new employees. What is accountable for in this case? Es, es similar, no? Es responsable de contratar nuevos empleados. Es, no. Exactly, it's similar. Es como decir, he is responsible for, okay? Solo que acá ya está en otras palabras, right? Pero accountable and uh, responsible in this case, básicamente viene siendo lo mismo, right? I mean, él es responsable de, what is hiring? Contratar. Okay, very good. Contratar nuevos empleados. That's what it is, okay? Y very ¿cómo good. vamos a ver cuándo usar cada uno? Por lo general, en este caso, no hay mucha distinción. Responsible for viene siendo como, I mean, ser responsable de algo, ok, que usted está a su cargo de desempeñar. Ambas vienen a lo mismo, ok. Es como una respons okay. responsabilidad que usted, eh, por lo general, ok, suele desempeñar, ok. Or your duty in the company, basically. Good. Now, let's okay. move on into the next one. Man, it was missing the committed. Okay, look at this. This is the other one. Uh, let's see who can help me out reading this one. Mm -mm -mm. Mario, let me out reading. Yes, he's dedicated to the culture, to the helping co workers in his job. Ah, okay, good. He is dedicated, all right, to helping co workers in his job. What it means in this case? ¿A qué se refiere esta oración así? Ayudar a los compañeros en el trabajo. Ah, ok, right. Es como, ¿cómo la traducirían en este caso? Yes. 
se dedica a ayudar a sus compañeros en su trabajo. Ah, oh, it can be fair, right? Okay. Básicamente, les dedicado a ayudar, right? A sus compañeros en su trabajo. That's pretty much, okay? What it says in that case. Good. Let me see. Oh, we don't have an extra one. Okay. That was weird. Creo que vale la última. And we're going to do something using committed to. Like, I'm going to put it in here. I thought I, ha I put everything in here. Okay. For example, look. I can say, I am, look, committed to help every student in my class. What am I saying in this case? Estoy queriendo decir acá. I am committed to help every student in my house, right? But in this case, look, ¿qué tengo mal aquí? Uh, falta in Helping. Egg. Exactly, right? Acá, ING. I am committed to helping every student in my class. You see? In that case, ¿qué quiero decir ahí con eso? Está comprometido a ayudar a su estudiante. There you go. That's what it is, all right? Committed to is like estar comprometido a, right? Be committed to. That's what it is, right? It's just like that. Estar comprometido con algo. Ok. Good. Entonces, ¿es realmente necesario usar estas estructuras? Realmente, en algunas situaciones, sí. Más que todo con situaciones laborales, right? En las cuales nosotros tenemos que mencionar nuestras responsabilidades. Ok. Pero inclusive, solamente con la preposición en diferentes contextos, podemos usar un gerundio también, ok uh, igual me hubiese gustado eh, enfocar más que todo el hecho de que hay ciertos verbos también, así como en los infinitivos, también hay ciertos verbos que podemos ver o que podemos conjugar ok, en gerundio, en qué aspecto como los comentaba ayer dos verbos no pueden ir en forma base. Por lo general, uno o se convierte en infinitivo o se convierte en gerundio. ¿Ok? Les voy a explicar brevemente un poco eso. Solo que ahorita voy a dejar de compartir un momento la pantalla y voy a pasar a asistencia. Because it's like kind of late. And I haven't passed the second sentence. Give me one second. And then I'm going to explain a little bit that thing. Edson Mariano. Presente. All right. Jocelyn Yajaira. All right. Gabriel Esaú. Neither Gabriel. Right. And neither Jocelyn. Okay. Judith Maribel. Present. Ah, okay. Good. Uh, Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Mm, okay, good. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Catherine Guadalupe. Present. Ok, perfect. María Elena. Present. Ah, you're there. Ok. Uh, Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Ok, good. Mario Ernesto. Present. Present. Okay. Good, good. Marvin eh, Alexander. Ah, ok, Marvin. Good. Mónica Maricela. No, ok, good. Let's see. Nelson Fabricio. Present. Ah, ok, good. 
Norma, Norma Beatriz. Porque él puedo y uno que vota la Presan... no Ah, ok. Uh... Ahí, yo no hago eso. Norma, podría hacerme un favor. Fíjense que solo aparece su apellido, Cuellar. ¿Podría, podría colocarme en su nombre para identificarla de mejor manera, please, al momento de participar. Ok. Thank you. Uh, Patricia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ah, ok, good. Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. All right. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Ok. William Alexander. Present. All right. Jocelyn Stephanie. Present teacher. Ok, good. Uh, Juan Ricardo. Present teacher. Ok. Iris Cecilia. Present. Ok. Ana Silvia. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, Francisco Ernesto. Y a mí no me quiere ver. No, pero voy a quedar. Ok. And Abigail Elizabeth. Present. Ok. All right. Good. Man, that's been happy, man. Quisiera tener esa energía a esta hora. When, when I'm in, you know, like on Saturday, it's everything. Y eso que no llega, no, eso que no pasa, y eso que no llega, no llego a los 30 y, y, y tantos. Y I, I mean, a esta hora ya es como que, ah, I want to go to bed. <laughs> But anyways, let's try to move out, people. Let's try to move on. Okay, look. Well, uh, as, as I was saying, listen, I don't know if you hear, I got, I got a couple of these things that I'm saying. I mean, this, this was our negatives. Okay? In here, I got some negatives. Give me one second. Okay, good. Let's continue. Okay, in here, I just got negatives. Listen, just by adding not after the verb be, okay, we can create negative examples or negative sentences using this type of structures. For example, look at this. Ivania, help me reading here. Okay, just add not after the verb be as in the following example. Okay. Ah, continue, continue, I'm, yeah. I am not responsible for arriving late to work. Ah, okay. Si quiera, si pudiésemos decir, ¿verdad? No, man, I am not responsible for arriving late. <laughs> no Mucho excusa de que nos carretera. <laughs> exactly. Ah, ya, yeah, man. Siempre lo digo, la vida, la, la vida en la zona central es tan acelerada en ese aspecto, right? A veces los trabajos los tienen un poco cerca, pero con tanto tráfico and everything, you got late sometimes. I, I think most of you, o, o, bueno, la mayoría de ustedes son de la zona central prácticamente, ¿cierto? San Salvador, uh, you know, like, algunas La Libertad, Cabañas creo que también, in here, in everything. I mean, the thing is that, What is, is, is make, it makes very difficult, everything is the traffic, mostly, right? En especial cuando está lloviendo, cuando hay algún pequeño accidente and everything, everything drives crazy by that places. Y a veces uno llorando acá por 15 minutos de tráfico. How different is life in here? <laughs> But anyways, let's go into this. Look. So in that case, just by putting not after the verb to be, you create something, all right, completely different in this case. You're turning something into negative. 
check this out, this other example in here. Edson, help me out reading, please. He is not in charge of moving the new material. Okay, thank you. All right, he's not in charge of moving the new material. All right, so you see, I mean, in that case, what are you trying to say? It's like that you don't have the responsibility to do that activity, right? Good. Another one, Sylvia. She is not accountable for reading the reports. Okay, very good. In here, it's like it. this person doesn't have the responsibility, right, to do this activity. That's what it says in, in here. All right. The idea with this is like for you to get to know, all right, and you try to understand that we just not create positive statements. We can create negative statements just by adding not after the verb to be, okay? That's what it, it, it it's mostly, you know, like dedicated this, this, this slide. All right, let's read the last one. Uh, let me see, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, are you there? Se nos fue Jocelyn. Okay, Marilyn. Teacher. Ah, ah, you're there. Soy yo o otra yo. Es que escuchaba que ayer había otra Jocelyn. Ayer había otra Jocelyn y ya no volvió a aparecer. Ya, Venezuela. Okay. Okay. He is not dedicated to doing a good job. A good job. Ah, okay. It's not dedicated to doing a good job. All right, good. Thank you, thank you. All right, so in this case, it's like it doesn't have, you know, like the dedication to do a proper job, right? So, la idea con esto es que podamos ver que simplemente agregando la palabra not justo después del verbo to be, podemos crear este tipo de oraciones ya mencionando lo opuesto a lo que anteriormente estábamos hablando, right? Okay, good. Y pues que el uh, gerundio igual se mantiene justo después de las preposiciones que tenemos ahí. Que en este caso sería for, of, right, and to, in some cases. Good. Um, a lo que les hablaba anteriormente, eh, de lo que les hablaba anteriormente era que, pues, básicamente podemos hacer este tipo de estructuras. Miren, esto para que más o menos lo vayan tomando en cuenta. Ok, uh, y pues creo que sí, más adelante se va a ver esta parte, al menos esta parte. Como les mencionaba, dos verbos, verb plus verb, generalmente esto así, esta fórmula así, un verbo tras otro no pueden ir en forma base. Por lo general, uno se convierte en infinitivo o tiende a tener la opción de un gerundio, ok. Y hay ciertas categorías de verbos para cada uno de los aspectos que menciono. ¿Cómo así? Vaya, si yo quiero crear un infinitivo, an infinitive like yesterday, yo puedo decir, I want, ¿recuerdan este verbo de ayer? Todo verbo después de want, por lo general va en infinitivo. I want to buy a new house. You see? After want, the verb, the next verb is with infinitive. Ok, pero hay ciertos verbos podemos ponerlos así Verbs follows by gerunds We got the verb love hate enjoy Ok like Generally, after these verbs, okay, you have the obligation, okay. Uh, hay otro. Think about. Vamos a poner estos así. Last. Estos nada más son como algunos, okay. Hay una lista bastante considerable, okay, de verbos que podemos colocar 
que después de estos verbos, el siguiente verbo que coloquemos tiene sí o sí que ser en gerundio. ¿Cómo así? Check this out. I love eating pupusas. You see? En este caso acá, después de love, tengo el verbo eat. Y acá eat ya va en ing. Look. I love eating pupusas. Ah, me encanta comer pupusas. Ahí no estoy diciendo yo, me encanta comiendo pupusas, right? No. It doesn't make sense. Remember, in here you got a, a, a gerund as a model. Another one. I hate waking up early. Right? That will be another one, right? Algo que ustedes disfruten hacer. Yo creo que ya tienen que florecer. ¿Podrían ayudarme con eso? Decidir el pago, teacher. Dormir. Estudiar. Tantas opciones, tantas opciones, ¿verdad? Pero miren, entre dormir y recibir pago, pues creo que recibir el pago. Right? Ya, vamos a poner eso. No, nos hace más felices. All right. I enjoy getting paid. You see, I enjoy getting paid. No hay nada más emocionante que decir. Paid. Right? No hay nada más emocionante que escuchar. Ah, I mean, ya le depositaron, ¿verdad? Right? Eh, right. ¿Cómo? Ah, huh? yes, man. Don't, aren't you happy when you say, it? I mean, ah, I, I got money in 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 my payment now. Okay. For example, I like. What? Teaching, in my case, English. You see? I think about... I think about... about I think about... about uh, what? Getting what? a new job, for example, all right? I mean, pienso en conseguir otro nuevo trabajo. I think about getting a new job. You see? The idea is after generally these verbs, you got to put the ing verb into the next one. You see, waking up, eating, all right. And this is this is the idea, right? Entonces, ahora bien, siempre tengan presente que después de estos verbos, all right, si van a colocar otro verbo adicional, sea cual sea, mientras sea presente simple, el verbo está en la obligación de ir en gerundio, okay? Eso es como algo extra. Por lo general, el tema es ING after prepositions, pero ahí para que tengan una idea que después de ciertos verbos también podemos colocar un verbo en ING. Ok. Good. Until here, do you have any question, people? Hasta acá tenemos alguna pregunta. Because now we're going to move it to the manual. Porque ahora vamos a mover el manual. Any question? Ok, good. no questions. Me agradezco que empiezo a preguntar. No questions. Algunos es apagan la cámara y otros así como que. Espero no me pregunte a mí. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Ok, good. So um, I'm going to stop sharing this thing right now. And we're going to go uh, back into the manual. Give me one second. <clears throat> Okay, good. Now, I want you guys uh, to go uh, to page, let me see, 13. Vámonos a la página 13. Con relación a las páginas que vamos a dejar ahí, no se preocupen. Esa la vamos a ver en la clase 4. Okay? In the review of vocabulary, we're going to do those pages. But I want you to go until this page. That's one. What do we got here? I um, mean, we got a short conversation in here, okay? Aquí ya estamos poniendo en práctica, en contexto, las expresiones que hemos estado viendo anteriormente, okay? That's what we got in here. And it says, listen to your teacher read the conversation, then practice with a partner. So we're going to go into the practice of this short 
conversation and then we are going to move out into some exercises that we got in there too. Okay. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a practicar un, un poco esta conversación y luego nos vamos a mover a una serie de actividades que tenemos más abajo. Look, example. Antes de pasar a la práctica de la conversación, me gustaría explicar qué vamos a hacer justo después de que practiquemos esas. ¿Ok? Claro, ah, miren. Nos vamos a ir a trabajar en parejas como lo estuvimos haciendo ayer. ¿Ok? And in here, you got this part. Below the conversation, you got this part. Part three, it says, per work. Discuss the answers to the questions below. Compare your answers with, uh, with the other pairs. We're going to do that later on. Estas preguntas, estas preguntas, Básicamente son de la conversación que van a practicar. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Nos vamos a ir a practicar cinco minutos la conversación. Justamente cuando cumplamos los cinco minutos, bajamos y comenzamos a desarrollar esas, esas, esas preguntas de la parte tres. ¿Ok? Que son con relación a la conversación. ¿Ok? It's taken from the conversation. ¿Ok? When you finish the part, Right? Cuando terminemos esta parte, ok, quiero que bajen a la siguiente página. I want you to go here. This one is basically what we were doing. Esto es básicamente, ok, lo que estuvimos explicando, lo que estuvimos viendo con relación a las estructuras. And here, look. ¿Qué vamos a ver acá? Aquí prácticamente tienen un organizational chart about a company called Rex. Ok. Tienen acá un, un, un tipo de uh, cronograma, yeah, en la cual aparece el general manager, que es el que dirige todo, okay, and hasta, pues básicamente, los últimos en la lista, por así decirlo, de una empresa. Okay. Y acá tenemos una serie de, listen, acá tenemos una serie de, Preguntas que tenemos que terminar. ¿Cómo así? Listen. ¿Qué vamos a hacer en esta parte? Si ven, hay un, hay un verbo en cada uno acá de los paréntesis. ¿Ok? En esta parte acá lo que vamos a hacer es vamos a complementar o vamos a terminar la pregunta colocando de manera apropiada el verbo acá. Si yo digo acá Who is responsible for? ¿Cómo tendría que ir este verbo? Supervise. ¿Cómo tendría que ir? Teniendo en cuenta que después de una preposición. Exactly. exactly. Después de una preposición tenemos que colocar un gerund. Right? Supervising the machine operators. You see? Ok. Vamos a complementarlas todas. Ok. Las vamos a complementar todas. Y acá en esta parte, ustedes me van a, a escribir la respuesta viendo el. Ok. That's what we are going to do. Right? It says in here, look. For example, tenemos acá. Who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? ¿Quién es el responsable de supervisar eh, all right, a los operadores de máquinas? De acuerdo a este, a este mapa que tenemos acá, para que tengamos una idea. ¿Quién es? Doctor Rick. No, pues sí, pero es que ¿Quién lo tiene? Miren. Ok. So in this case, what are we going to do? Supervisor. Supervisor. Exactly. exactly. Entonces acá, lo único que me van a colocar ustedes es the supervisor. That's it. Ok. Muy bien. ¿Me comprendieron cómo vamos a hacer esa parte? Yes. Ok, perfect. There you go. That's pretty much what we are going to do. Ok. This... Activity, we're going to do it in pairs, okay? We're going to do it in pairs. And uh, this is going to be the last one that we're going to be doing, okay? Bien, entonces esta parte sería ya la última que eh, estaríamos haciendo. All right, let's go into here, the conversation. Vamos a practicarla un momento, okay? Por lo menos para que eh, 
Practiquemos la pronunciación, ok? Y luego nos vamos a ir a la práctica. It says, this is a conversation between Jessica and Roxana. It says, Jessica. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. I'm the industrial safety engineer. It says Roxana. Thanks, Jessica. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It says Jessica. My department, my department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. It says Roxana, I see. I see. I'll, right? This is a combination between I will, I and will. It's I'll, okay? I'll be part of the maintenance department. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Will I be responsible to you? Right? It says, Jessica, great. Great. Our department work together. Our department work together but the maintenance but the maintenance chief chief is in charge of directing your department of directing your department you'll listen you'll this is a combination between U and the L sound. You'll be responsible to him. You'll be responsible to him. Roxana says, thank you. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? May I call you if I need help? And Jessica says, sure. Sure. All right, guys. Any word from this vocabulary, uh, from this conversation that you got problems with? Algún vocabulario, alguna palabra que no comprendamos de esta conversación? O pronunciación que no, no, no manejemos mucho? You can ask. Pueden preguntar antes de irnos a la práctica. Mi teacher. Hello. Everything. Everything okay, Iris? Or you gonna ask something? Yes. Uh, chief um, y boss. Significan lo mismo, vea. Uh, yeah, I mean, chief, it's basically, a, viene siendo como un manager, right? El que dirige. Mm -hmm. Viene siendo como un boss. Mm -hmm. El jefe. Uh, Entonces, um, chief. Okay. Y vamos a ver, man. Eh, vamos a ver en algún momento, May and Ken. ¿Algún momento qué? Sí, vamos a ver en algún momento, May and Ken. May and Ken. Ah, usted dice como, uh -huh. temas, como temas propios o generales uh -huh. de la clase. Sí, más adelante. Okay. Vamos a ver, okay. me, vamos a ver, may, can, could, will, should. Ya, yeah, la mayoría de, de que son llamados modal verbs. Sí, los vamos a ver, eh, bueno, se van a ver parte de ellos, creo, de este módulo y el siguiente. Ok. Yes, all right. Marvin. 
Yes, teacher. En el segundo párrafo de Roxana, I see la contracción al. I'll. 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 Esa sí. contracción es una combinación de I will. Ok. okay. Que will se utiliza para formar futuro. All right. Okay. I, I'll be part. I'll be part. Es como seré parte. Right? That's future. Ok. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. All right. Good. Something else, people? Algo más en los que le pueda ayudar? No? Nope. Ok. Perfect. If you don't have any other question, I'm going to stop sharing this thing and I'm going to create the pairs for you to go to practice. Give me one second. All right, Carla Mendoza, uh, you cannot participate, right? ¿Se no podría participar por el momento? No, teacher. Ah, okay, good. Bueno, creo que solo sería ella. ¿Quién se me acaba de ir? Sí, ok. Vamos a ver entonces. Give me one second. I'm just going to move something in here. Because Carla is just going to be as a listener. Permítanme. Number three. Okay, good. Okay, let's go to practice in that case. Recuerden, cinco minutos de conversation y luego continuamos con los demás ejercicios, okay? Vamos a aceptar ahí entonces and let's go into the breakout rooms and let's go to practice. Elizabeth, Marilyn. Are you there? Oh, Silvia, you're back. I usted fue que se le fue la. All right, the internet. I'm gonna send you to, to one group. Give me one second. All right, let's go to practice there. Accept AE, por favor. No dijo. No dijo de estar este. Cambiando los nombres. Mm, si gustas, los cambiamos. Para... Yes, you can change it. Pueden cambiarlos, no hay problema, por los de ustedes. Ok, ok, ok. okay. okay. Yeah. Dele, si quiere, comience. Gracias. Practicar el diálogo. Hola. Hola. ¿Empieza usted o empiezo yo? Eres, are you there? What happened to her? <laughs> Hola, teacher. Ah, yeah, man, she's there. <laughs> What happened, Eres? ¿Qué pasó? Aquí estamos viendo en línea el manual. Ah. <laughs> Es que creí que Marilyn estaba hablando solita. No, como así. Ah, 
Ah, ok, ok. Yeah. <laughs> uh, pero, right. Let's continue. Ok. Do you? Great. Our, our department work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, uh, Fabricio. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay. Una vez más. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, Fabricio. Welcome to REST. My name is Carla. I am the industrial safety engineer. Thanks. Thanks, Carla. Nice to meet you. I need help. La leemos otra vez o ya? Porque ahí está el teacher ya. No, no. <laughs> ya que no lo he visto. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Now, man, you can you can go into the next uh, exercise if you want. And I think we're going eh, to... Después de la lectura, pasamos a la página. ¿qué? No, al, al ejercicio a la, 3. A la, al ejercicio 3. Okay. Y de ahí al... A la siguiente 14. página. Si oh. tenemos tiempo, ya vamos a ver. Yeah, because... 12 minutes is missing. Ah, las preguntas son de la, de la, de la conversación. Mm -hmm. Exactly. ¿Quién es, ¿Quién es el responsable de...? Pero solo vamos a poner el nombre de la, de la... Yes, yes, en ese caso sí. Ah, no, Jessica. Okay. Sería Jessica. Exactly. Jessica. Sí. Safety personal in the plan. Ok, Jessica. My tense personal rate is a part of my world. Responsible to him. Thank you, Jesse. Keep him. Okay, that's good. Your department will be responsible. Responsible to Thank you, Christina. May I tell you? My my, I tell you if I need help. Sure. No regresamos, eh? eh, Las preguntas podríamos. Eh... Yeah, I mean you you can go into the. Into ah, the ya no llamó el tic. Okay. Ah. Ya no llamó el tic. <laughs> no, no yet. Ah, no, no, no. Perdón, perdón, no, 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 vamos, vamos con las preguntas, <laughs> celebrity. Okay. Así es. Va, ya me equivoco. Ok, Bye. dice la primera. Who is, who is responsible for keeping the safety of the... Ni idea. <laughs> mm, pero... el, de, el que no tiene ni idea, Elizabeth. ¿De cuál es la primera? Estamos viendo el número uno porque ahí está el cuadrito. De la ahí. uno. A ver, ya la uno, ah, vamos sería, a ver. Sería, ah, estamos viendo. Ah, con... Están, en, la, ah, están en, la, en, la, en las preguntas ahorita. Sí, tratamos sí. de responderlas. Vaya, dame, pero dice, who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personal in the, in the plant, right? Vaya. Sí. Vaya, vámonos para la conversación. Sí, sí, en la conversación dice este, el departamento de Jessica. Pero también cuando se presenta, mencionan que ella está en el departamento de Industrial Safety Engineer. Exactly. Entonces, ahí tenemos. Esa eh, es la respuesta. Ella es, ella es. Simplemente lo que me van a colocar ahí es Jessica. That's it. Nosotros íbamos a poner el departamento de Jessica. <laughs> no, porque les está preguntando quién está a cargo, no cuál es el departamento. Ah, sí, es verdad. Y no la persona, Entonces, la persona. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Ok, pongamos Jessica entonces. Exactly. Ya ves, sin okay. complicarse. Ok. <risa> <risa> Ella, Elizabeth, no la conocemos. Va a encender la cámara. Ahí está mi fotito. Está muy chiquita, no se ve. Sí se mira, yo sí veo. Y eso que yo no mire, veo, mire, uso lentes. Mire Edson ahí, ya ve. Sí, mire, también usa sin lentes. Miedo a, sin miedo al éxito, pero ya encendió la cámara, ya ve. Bueno, concentrémonos en lo importante La pregunta número dos Ya ve cómo es Ya ve cómo es ah, Ok, go Go into the second question What it says, ¿qué dice? Dice quién es él en... ¿Quién está a cargo de dirigir el Maintenance personal Personal de mantenimiento Ajá, ¿quién es? Eh, según Roxana. conversación y Roxana nah. Roxana Sí, sí, es Roxana. No. Um, I should... Look, miren esto. Mm. The maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. It says, es el jefe de mantenimiento. En otras palabras, oh. me van a notar. The maintenance, the maintenance chief. chief. Okay. ¿Sí? Sí, es sí. el encargado <laughs> de manejar el personal de mantenimiento. Ok, entonces básicamente eh, Roxana es nada más una trabajadora más. Oh. Ya, yeah. okay. ok. La 3 y 4, algo así, ok. Good. Okay. Sí. Um. Digo yo. Hello, Uy, ¿cómo vamos? ¿Cómo vamos? Ahí uh, yes. Estamos en el mundo. In the question. Medios, medios trabados, pero ahí vamos. <risa> medios trabados. A ver, ¿dónde van a ir? Bueno, por lo menos yo. Ajá, ajá. Vamos. ¿Por dónde vamos ahorita? Hemos intercambiado ahí la conversación entre los tres. Vaya, perfecto. Ya está la conversación Q. ¿Ya están comenzando con las preguntas o ya las hicieron? No. Ahorita vamos a comenzar con las preguntas. Ah, ahorita okay. ya. Vaya. A modo de ejemplo, miren, vamos, les voy a ayudar con la número uno. ¿Ok? ¿Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes. yes. Perfecto. Va, miren. Dice la número uno. Who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel in the plant? ¿Quién es el responsable de mantener la seguridad del personal en la planta? De acuerdo a la lectura, ¿quién sería? Supervisor. Ah, si, ve, si ven acá, dice My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. All right. En este caso, como ella es la ingeniera, Ok, de seguridad industrial, entonces sería... Ingenier. Jessica. Ingenier, Jessica. Yes. Ingenier. Ingenier. Right. O simplemente me pueden colocar acá, Jessica. Yes. Jessica. Exacto. Oh, exactly, exactly. All right. Next question, for example. Who is in charge of directing the maintenance personnel? ¿Quién es el encargado de dirigir el personal de mantenimiento? Supervisor. Supervisor. Ahí sería Jessica otra vez. Yes, Bim. Jessica. No, 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 Jessica. My department. Dice la responsable. Roxana. Roxana. Tampoco. Ah. No. Ah, no, espérenme. Ah, miren, miren, miren. Aquí dice, ahí sí dice, I'll be part of the maintenance department. Seré parte del departamento de, de mantenimiento, dice Roxana. Will I be mm. responsible to you? Estaré a cargo de ti, le dice a Jessica. Great. Y le dice a Jessica, genial. Nuestros departamentos están o trabajan juntos, pero... The maintenance chief, pero el jefe de mantenimiento está a cargo de dirigir tu departamento. Entonces, ¿cuál sería? 
de Maintenance Chief. Ahí lo tienen en pantalla seleccionado. Maintenance Personal. Person. The Maintenance Chief. Ese sería el encargado. Entonces, bajan a la pregunta y ponen The Maintenance Chief. Acá. Maintenance Chief. All right. Good. Háganme la 3 y 4 y luego bajamos a la siguiente, ¿ok? Salud. ¿Cuál es la responsabilidad de Roxana? Ajá, exacto. ¿Qué es responsable de Roxana? De la industria. Departamento. De España. Encargada del departamento. Uh -huh. De mantenimiento. Our, our department, what is it? Together, body, mantenimiento. Uh -huh. Encargada del departamento. No. Encargada. No. ¿Qué? Eh, de, 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 de. Es la responsable de Parme. De la planta, es la responsable de la planta. Es la jefe de planta. ¿Quieren que les traduzca como dice? Oh, the plant. ¿Quieren que Por les, favor. ¿Quieren que les traduzca qué es lo que quiere decir My esa pregunta? Is, uh, sí. Vaya, dice. Ok. ¿Quién es responsable de Roxana? O de, de manejar Jessica. a Roxana. Jessica. 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 No. No. No, porque Jessica es encargada del departamento de... Seguridad. Ah. Exacto. Y Roxana es de mantenimiento. Ah, es cierto, es cierto, es cierto. Tiene razón, teacher. ¿Quién sería entonces? Engineer. No. ¿Mm? Sería la misma persona. Maintenance no. ship. Jefe de mantenimiento. Opera, opera, jefe de mantenimiento. Operator. All right. Entonces, en la tanto en la pregunta 2 y 3 sería maintenance chief. Maintenance chief. Ok. All right, háganme la última entonces, ¿ok? How are, we, how, how are we doing? ¿Cómo vamos? Bastante bien. Ah, pretty cool. Yeah, man, that's nice. Who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machines? Ooh. Maintenance personal. Nah, uh, let me see. Who's responsible for repairing the problems of the machines? Uh, drivers, machine operators, supervisors, safety engineers, maintainers, oh. financial for manager, assemblers. ¿Y assemblers? Eh, sí, porque... De eh, el maintenance... Eh, no sé si se refiere a, a mantenimiento en general del edificio. ¿Y assemblers? No, pero como dice de máquinas, los problemas de las máquinas... Entonces, es el machine operators. No, pero es que esos son los operadores de máquinas. Uh -huh. Ellos son los que se encargan de operarlas. 
I think is assemblers, as, as Mario says. Yeah, I mean, that's the one. Assemblers. <laughs> What? <laughs> All right. All right. Listen. Miren, prácticamente ya llegamos a las 10 con 2. Nos vamos a quedar hasta acá y creo que mañana vamos a continuar con esto, ¿ok? Because the time is not really enough. ¿Ok? okay. Bien. Okay. Vamos a ir a la sala principal porque si no se me van a desesperar los otros. <laughs> We're going to okay. go back there. All right. Okay. See you there. Relax, Cristina. Yeah, I mean, we gotta go. <laughs> no, we, I, I was, I was, I was finishing. Yes, uh, <laughs> no, man, I was just finishing uh, explaining something to a pair. That was everything, right? Sí. Ya se fueron, dijo Cristina. Now, nah, man, uh, we're waiting for everybody to, to, come, to come by here. Debo suponer que no todos terminaron, ¿cierto? Not everybody finished already. Okay, what are we going to do? Listen. Nah, man, uh, I mean, everybody's coming back. Okay. All right, guys, listen. Debo suponer que no todos terminaron. ¿O hay, ¿Hubo alguna pareja que terminó? Psst, otro nivel, miren, Cristina, Francisco, que terminaron, ¿eh? ¿Sí? And everything. Ok, cool, cool, perfect, perfect. Listen, uh, we're going to continue with this thing by tomorrow, ¿ok? Vamos a continuar con esta parte en mañana. La vamos a terminar y la vamos a, dar, la, la vamos a revisar, ¿ok? Because, I mean, it's, it's, it's late right now and we're not going to continue, you know, like I'm not going to have you uh, more than 10 in here, okay? Entonces, para mañana igual vamos a tener entonces la práctica de la pequeña conversación que, que, que estuvieron practicando, okay? Eh, y luego vamos a revisar las preguntas y luego la siguiente página que estuvieron, igual que estuvieron trabajando, okay? Y vamos a dar un espacio ahí también para poderlas eh, terminar, ¿ok? De acuerdo al, al, a la información que tenían ahí en la parte superior, ¿ok? From that page. That's pretty much. All right, guys. Antes que nos vayamos, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta con relación al tema que hemos estado discutiendo. Algo que no haya quedado del todo claro. Any structure, something. For you. Mm -hmm. All right. What? Aha, uh -huh, it is. No, everything ah. is clear. Ah, I thought you were about to say something. Okay. Por cierto, pudieron ya acceder todos a la plataforma? O hay alguien que no? Yo ya no, empecé, eh, teacher. Ya empecé a hacerlo, ya, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Norma, usted no todavía. No, la verdad que ahorita, gracias a Dios, pude hacer la actividad porque Cristina me mandó un screen de, de la página. Así que por eso soy bastante desorientada. Una pregunta, Norma. No, ¿Usted, ¿Usted ya está en el grupo de WhatsApp? Sí, me, me, me incorporaron vaya. como a las ocho y media. <ríe> ah, ok, vaya. Mire, lo que voy a hacer es que todavía no tiene el manual, ¿verdad? Nada de eso. Uh -huh. Vaya, perfecto. Le voy a enviar el manual. Cuando termine la clase, le voy a enviar el manual para que usted lo pueda descargar y tener ahí. Eh, la información ya se la mandaron, no, no se la han mandado por correo. Por la, correo, con, no. Con Solamente me mandaron final. un mensaje eh, diciendo que en este grupo y que me incluyera más nada. Ok. All right. Listen, hagamos algo. Me manda su nombre completo. Eh, en el grupo o, o por un mensaje ahí eh, no, no. Para, para hacer el reporte ok con su nombre completo y ellos sepan de quién es a quién me estoy refiriendo para que puedan darle acceso a la plataforma ok debo suponer que igual eh, la, el mismo 
el mismo correo y contraseña, Norma, será para entrar a la plataforma. El mismo que usó en el módulo 2. Mm. ¿Ok? Módulo 2. Ajá. No he estado en el módulo 2. Eh, ¿Este sería su primer módulo? Sí, correcto. Sí. Ah, ok. All right. Entonces igual, mándeme su nombre para yo hacer el reporte, ok? Y poderle enviar ya con su nombre completo para que se puedan contactar con usted. Y le okay. den las credenciales para poder acceder a la plataforma, ok? Ok, gracias. All right, perfecto. Aparte de Norma, ¿alguien más? Bueno, debo suponer que todo está perfecto, entonces. Ok, guys. I'm going to pass the attendance list and that's going to be everything for tonight. Just give me one second. Edson Mariano. Present. Ok, good. Uh, Gabriel Esaú. Gabriel, all right, creo que no se conectó. Jocelyn Yajaira. Ah, sí, que hay, hay otra Jocelyn, bien, bien decía la otra Jocelyn. All right, but she's not here. Um, Judith Maribel. Yeah. Judith, puesto que ni Gabriel ni Jocelyn están acá, Now I'm going to have the 10 minutes feedback with you, okay? Today, okay. after class. All right. Uh, Carla Ivania. Present. Okay, good. Carla Lorena. I'm here, teacher. Okay, perfect. Catherine Guadalupe. Present. Okay, perfect. Maria Elena. Maria Elena, all right. Okay, I think she's not here. Marilyn Alejandra. Okay, I think Marilyn got problems with the internet. Mario Ernesto. Okay, good. Marvin Alexander. Good night, teacher. All right, good night. Monica Maricela. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Nelson Fabricio. Present. Okay, good. Norma Beatriz. Present. Okay, good. Patricia Guadalupe. Patricia. Okay, I think she got problems with the internet too. Uh, Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. All right. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Good night teacher. Good night. All right. William Alexander. Jocelyn Stephanie. Good night teacher. All right. Good night. Juan Ricardo. Present teacher. Okay, it is Cecilia. Good night. Good night. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Ana Silvia. Present teacher. Okay, Francisco Ernesto. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, mister. And Abigail Elizabeth. <laughs> Present teacher. Okay. All right, people, it was a pleasure to have you here in the second video conference. Have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow, okay? Bye bye, people. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Dios los bendiga a todos y a todas. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, bendiciones. Bye bye. Ah, I mean, you got it here. Okay, Judith. As you know, I mean, this time, this time minutes are just for us to clarify any question that you might have with this class and the previous class or something related to the platform, okay? So, son para aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener con relación a este tema y pues tema, el tema que usted estuvo viendo la clase pasada. Así que, if you have any question, I'm all ears. Hasta el momento sí lo he comprendido. 
los dos temas. Ah, ok. So, sí, las estructuras me facilitan bastante. Ah, eso es bueno, eso es bueno. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, entonces, todo claro, por lo menos con relación a los temas. Sí, todo claro. Ah, ok, cool. ¿Cómo vamos con los de la plataforma? ¿Ya tiene acceso en everything? Sí, tengo acceso. Ya ayer completé la primera tarea. Ah, perfecto, perfecto. Entonces, estamos 100% perfect with you. Ah, ok, good. Bueno, dicho esto, entonces, no hay nada más que agregar, Judith. Eh, <ríe> la dejo descansar, entonces, ya, yeah, porque es like more than 10 o 10, ok? All right, yeah. Judith. See you tomorrow then, ok? Bye bye. Okay. Good, night. Good night. Good night. All right, basically, uh, the topic for tonight it was ING after some prepositions, right? And uh, the students were pretty good at practicing, you know, like the ways how we can create positive sentence and sentences and negative sentences using the structures, using the ING of the verb in a very appropriate way. By tomorrow, we will continue with the practice and the development of some exercises that we were missing tonight, okay? Just, you know, to continue with the topics, right? So, see you in uh, the next video conference. Good night. <laughs>